This is Star Talk. Uh, I had read about something called modified Newtonian dynamics that was introduced as being a possible model that doesn't presume the existence of dark matter. Does this have any credibility or is this pseudoscience sensationalism? I'm reading on Time Science section. Cool. I love that he goes, oh, by the way, it was Time Magazine that <laughs> that that we are uh, questioning here. No, yeah, he says, is it pseudoscience? Because I read it on Time I read Time it on Magazine. Time, basically. <laughs> yes, an indictment of Time Magazine is what we have it, there. It's a backhanded indictment. Yeah. So he's referring to modified Newtonian gravity, Dyna- right. and we call it in my field, uh, modified Newtonian dynamics, and we call it in our field MOND, is MOND. the acronym, MOND. Okay. Nice. And it's an attempt to not be a prisoner of the mysterious dark extra matter. gravity that we call dark matter. Dark matter is what we call dark matter, really, I think, should be called dark gravity because right. 85% of all the gravity in the universe has no known origin. Exactly. So dark gravity. Why, right. why would you call that dark matter? You don't even know if it's matter, so shut the hell up. But we know it's dark gravity. We know, it's definitely it's dark gravity. It's definitely gravi- dark. Yeah. Because, and that's because we know that the expansion is accelerating? Is that No, the that's different. That's dark energy. That's dark energy. Right, right, right. No, we'll just stay with the gravity yes, for the moment. Yes. Okay, so, so there are things keeping galaxies and galaxy clusters together. Right. There's an extra force of gravity operating that we cannot account for by anything that we see, and even anything that we don't see that we know is made of real matter, gotcha. like black holes or dark clouds right. or, or, or dark asteroids. We c- You can add all those up. We have a way to account for those. Right. And we are... A f- in some places, a factor of 10. In other places, a factor of 100 off wow. in accounting for this. what's making the gravity. Right. Okay. So, so there's a group that, uh, that, uh, that explored the possibility that maybe Newton's laws of gravity need an extra term in it. Mm-hmm. Now, we know Newton's laws of gravity work in certain situations, but the, the situations where it fails. Maybe you have an extra term there. A term in a, an equation allows it to calculate other kinds of situations. Gotcha. So they just put in a term. And said, here's this term, will it work? And surprisingly, they got explaining some things that had otherwise been explained by dark matter. Right. And there are certain certain galaxies that orbit one another in small clusters. Mm -hmm. And so it's an intriguing alternative hypothesis. And it's it's had some legs, but every now and then somebody will discover a system that is not explainable by... By Mond, by Mond. And, that, and that sort of sends them back a few steps. Throws a monkey wrench into the plans. Throws a monkey wrench, but then they come uh, come back. The point is, right now, we have no idea what dark matter is. So you cannot completely shut down that operation. Right. Because it's trying to come, it's trying to explain things without anything exotic, such as what dark matter would be. And so I don't have a problem with that exercise. These are respectable scientists doing respectable work mm-hmm. with, with postdocs and graduate students and things. So... Uh, but there are some cases that it cannot explain. Gotcha. So you can't say, well, throw the whole thing out the window because nobody else can explain them either. Right, right. <laughs> so who am I to say, get out the room when I don't have a better explanation? Right. So that's how that, that's, so so yes, it's on, the, it's on the, the edge of science. It's on the edge, but something's so got to be there. it's not really pseudoscience. No, but it's, it's not pseudoscience. It's frontier science. Thank you. It's frontier yeah. science that has a lot of people who doubt it. Right. But not on a level where we're going to not listen Not going to discount it. We're just going to doubt it. We're just going to doubt it. And you know what we call that? Science. (laughs) Exactly. Science! (laughs) 